Hey guys, remember those micro dwarf tomatoes we sewed together in January? Let me show you what they're doing now. So here they are. They, as expected, stayed really tiny. How cute is that? Micro dwarfs. So they're kind of, they've kind of been neglected, but, but they're doing really well. Everyone's got fruit. So this one is yellow canary. This one is Venus Tom micro dwarf. I think this is also supposed to be a yellow cherry. This is a yellow cherry. And then this one is bonsai um, micro. And I think these might actually turn red. So they're not quite ready to eat, but look how small they are. These are perfect for someone who feels like they don't have a lot of space outside or someone who has no space outside. You literally can grow your own tomatoes under grow lights. You would take care of them exactly the same as you would outside. You want them to get eight plus hours. I would probably say eight to 10 hours of light on them. You have to fertilize them. You have to keep them moist, um, which I kind of failed at doing because once the seed started, seed starting season, bulb starting season started, um, they kind of got like mixed up in the shuffle and just got a little bit neglected. I didn't stay up on top of it on what you need for tomatoes. So they got water. They might not have got a ton of fertilizer. Um, and they definitely got plenty of light. So I think the issue probably was between water and fertilizing. Maybe I did not keep them watered enough. And then I know I definitely did not fertilize them enough. So yeah, um, but I am excited about this project. I'm definitely going to grow micro dwarfs again. I'm going to save seeds from these plants and grow them um, like later on. I don't know if I'll grow any later on the season because I've already started my tomatoes for the year, but I might save these to grow for next year. We'll see. I just don't want a ton of extra things to monitor, but maybe, I don't, since, I mean, they stay so small, like, it's just so easy to just keep them, but, to keep going with them, but I just, yeah. So anyways, let's try one of these. I am not a huge, I love cherry tomatoes. I do, sorry, gnats. I love cherry tomatoes. Um, I just don't find them to be as flavorful as other tomatoes, except for um, there is one cherry that I, a couple cherries that I absolutely love. And I'm trying to think who makes them. Um, what is it? Burpee? Burpee makes one of my favorites and it's a, it's a yellow like this. Um, I'll put the name on the screen, but it's my absolute favorite cherry. And then there's one uh, chocolate cherry, to cherry tomato that I think is just delicious. And I think that might be a burpee tomato too. Um, these seeds I got from Etsy. I'll link the, sh the shop in the description if you wanna go and get them yourself. But let's give this a try. I, I've already tried one or like later on, but Yeah, it's okay. It's nothing to write home about. However, I do suspect that tomatoes grown under grow lights may not be as flavorful as a tomato ripened in the sun. So that's something that you need to think about too if you're gonna be growing these indoors and um, not giving them any natural light at all. So that's one thing. Let me try this one. This is different. Um, this one's definitely better. This is the Venus tomato. And this one is the yellow canary. So this one definitely tastes better, juicier. This one was um, pretty bland. Um, but this one has a, a little bit of flavor to it, so. And then this guy, we'll wait and see when he, um, his uh, fruit ripens and we'll see what he tastes like, but yeah. Okay, so that's it for this video. This is the update. I'm gonna keep these guys going. Um, 
as long as they want to keep producing um now that i've noticed their their struggle i definitely am going to uh, give them a good water good fertilizing today and then um we'll see how long the plants keep going on their own and producing um, once my for my last frost date comes, I will move these guys outside um, with all of the other plants if they're still going strong. I sowed these in January. I'll put the date on the screen. And well, actually, January 9th. I sowed these January 9th. So they've been going on for um, over four months now. So, um, which is like a typical summer span so if if i had grown these in a regular like you know sow them now and then through fall they'd be kind of nearing like the end of their season anyway in my zone so i'm not i wonder if that's kind of part of this um dieback but yeah so we'll see let me know if you guys have any questions about these plants and i'll see you in the next video bye